Welcome to my channel. This recipe, I'm going to make a ham very easy to make in a crock pot. So I have a crock pot in here. If you have a bigger one, it's even better. But I work with what I have, and this is what I have right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, show you the crock pot. You see in here, um, I'm going to use a cane sugar. But you can use um, brown sugar if you have one cup, okay? It's going to look like it's going to be a lot of sugar, but honestly, it's not. Remember, the, the ham is a little bit kind of salty, so that's going to level the uh, between the sweet and the salty. I have the ham in here, and I'm just going to check if that ham fit in there. This ham comes with this glaze. You want to add that if you like. Um, I'm ending adding it at the end because I don't want to waste it. As you see, the ham don't don't fit in there. You have a big oval, big oval crab pot is better. But I go, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the um this part. And I want to mention this ham comes already spiral. It's already cut, as you see. And I'm gonna cut these pieces. If you see, it's come like this. And then I'm gonna place the ham in there. I'm gonna put that in there, and then the uh, the little piece I cut, I'm just gonna put it around. Okay, I'm gonna show you having here one can of the crushed pineapple. But if you want to see some chunk, you can eat chunk pineapple with the juice, okay? And but I'm using crushed pineapple, and it's gonna give them the flavor. And then I'm gonna put it around the edges. And this is optional. I'm gonna put a jar of the maruchino cherries with the juice. I have in here ground cloth. What I'm going to do after two hours, I'm gonna put like a teaspoon or to your tape of the uh, ground cloth. The other ingredient is the uh, honey. I'm gonna sprinkle some honey on top. And now I'm gonna add half of the cup of the sugar. And I wanna mention one more time, I'm using the cane sugar, but you can use um, brown sugar. And I'm going to cover this and I'm gonna cook this for four hours on high or six hours on low. You, This is one thing you can do it overnight. If you wanna make your turkey, you don't have to worry about it because you put it overnight and then the next day it's gonna be ready and then keep them warm. And if you're gonna transport this some place, I recommend you to cut it. It's better that way the people just grab it and go. I'm just gonna set mine for four hours on high, and then after, but in two hours, I'm gonna add the uh, the cloth. Remember the um, powder, one teaspoon approximately of the powder cloth, and because this this ham is gonna release. Uh, water and they already had the water from the pineapple and the uh, maruchino cherries. Okay, these two trays is potatoes, uh, potato, uh, parsley potatoes and um, uh, turkey because I'm going to take this to church and then I'm making the ham. So what I'm going to do after I finish, I'm going to slice it up and then put it in that tray, okay? I'm going to add one teaspoon of the ground cloth like this much right here around and make sure after another hour just take some of the juice and pour on top of the ham okay and that's very easy to make and after that you cover it and then let it let it cook in there for four hours as you see that juice
I just going to what I'm doing here is I'm going to try to take it out so because I'm gonna cut it and put it in a tray like I told you because I'm gonna take this to church so if you're going to some family members whatever it's better if you cut it or turn it um, I didn't show the last part when I was cutting the whole thing because I was in a little bit hairy but I just show you here you just cut it be careful um, you know it's kind of hot and this is what you could do and then after you cut it you can put some of the juice on top and what I did was um, beside that tray I put it in another tray in case some of the uh, juice you spill some of the juice is not you know gonna um, a, a ruin, a ruin your car or something so and this is the final result so I hope you guys try this recipe for Christmas or any special occasion